Hi, and welcome to the show. It's lovely out here. Well, this is not a studio, it's my bedroom. It's, uh, this is my flipped bed in order to fit in the, the equipment. My wife doesn't love it. I hope next week I'll be able to film in a new studio. But enough whining. Hi again and welcome to 3 Minute John. <laughs> and now the news. <laughs> Flash news. The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 caught fire in a lady's purse in New York and now she's filing a suit. Well, we all know about No 07 scandals a few years ago. It was a hot subject. <laughs> But Samsung went to great endeavors in order to never let that happen again. So I think it's an isolated case. Actually, I hope it is. I would still be very careful if I had an old 9. I mean, I wouldn't keep it on the nightstand when I sleep at night. You know? Hey, dude. I got a new Galaxy Note 9. Really? Can I see it? Sure. It's over there. What? Yeah, you can go look. Why don't you keep it in your pocket? What? No reason. Okay. <laughs> iOS 12 is out. Enjoy. Next. The latest iPhones come without a fast charger and without a headphone jack dongle in the box. Not even if you get the 512 gigabytes version. And you would expect to get everything you need from a phone that costs $1,449. Hell, at that price they could include a mid-range Samsung in the box, just for laughs. But I don't understand why Apple is so stingy about this stuff. I mean, they're being cheap with a very expensive phone. It's a paradox. In 2021, we'll have cars that have Android-powered media displays. The Renault-Nissan-Mitsubishi alliance partnered with Google to make this possible, and in a few years, we'll have Google Maps and the Google Assistant directly in the car. This is very good news. I always use Google Maps in my car, even though my car has a native navigation software. But that software sucks worse than my first 3 Minute John video. Hi, I'm John and welcome to John's show. <laughs> Deep fakes are beginning to be a major threat. US lawmakers are worried about what the AI generated deep fakes could do to the US society and to the world for that matter. If you don't know, deep fakes are hyper realistic digital forgeries that uses AI to show individuals doing or saying things they never did. For example, look at what Obama has to say. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Oh no he didn't. He actually didn't say that, but Jordan Peele did using deep fakes. But how we move forward in the age of information. And it all started two years ago when people on Reddit used this cutting edge technology to paste celebrities' faces onto porn. Because, of course, they did. That's the first thing that I would use it for, too. I would put Khaleesi's face on a hot body. Oh, John, can I see your dragon? What I'm actually saying is that I have a hot body. <laughs> But this type of technology in the hands of someone that tries to do something malicious is a very powerful and dangerous tool. Just think of how easily you can make a political candidate lose its credibility. On the other hand, anyone can now claim that a real video is fake. Like my first episode. That is not me. That's fake. The bottom line is you should always check your sources. Get all your tech news from 3 Minute John. A friendly advice brought to you by 3 Minute John. A surprise event from Samsung, beside the Note 9 surprise. Samsung has sent invitations for a Galaxy event on October 11th. I didn't get an invitation even though it's one day after my birthday. And I'm a Samsung user. <laughs> Nobody knows exactly what it's about, but they say it's an event for the release of a Galaxy device. But what could it be? The invite just says 4x fun. 4 times fun. Could it be a new mid-range phone with 4 cameras that Apple can use in their boxes? Or a flagship phone with a camera that has 4 times optical zoom? You know, like the S4 zoom? Now that was a fat phone. Could this be the launch of the first ever foldable phone? Or maybe they will reveal the fourth iPhone X, which they made. The iPhone XS SE, Samsung edition. It's possible. We don't really know what to expect from this event, but I hope it won't be just a tablet, because that would suck. Or anything with the notch. Ugh. Anyway, we'll keep you posted, but until then, let me know in the comments below what do you think they will reveal. Four times fun. What could they be releasing to be four times fun? 
How? No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. Ah, oh, that that's the perfect combination. Yeah. Oh shit. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm Jar. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Those deep fakes are scary, man. I just hope they won't turn the internet into a place where you can't trust anything anymore. Because it's wrong. I suck. Chuck is the greatest editor ever. I miss him so much. I am a very fat man.